Hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows. Big Dash Knows what? New York Giants football. Let's go. Today's video is a recap of day six training camp. And I'm hearing today from, from all the outlets, um, social media, um, content creators, that the receivers had a great day today. Um, I saw on Giants.com, uh, the title of the article was The Giants Receivers Shine. So, um, yeah, so they had a good day today and a bounce back day from yesterday. We all saw yesterday how um, Daniel Jones uh, struggled, quote unquote, struggled. Um, you know, it was like five of 13 or five of 14 and uh, ended the day with like six incompletions. Well, not today. Today, Daniel Jones was hot despite throwing two interceptions today. He did um, he did throw two. One was a pick six, both to a Dory Jackson. Um, one was a bad interception. The other one was great play by the defense. So, um, yeah, Dory Jackson, salute to you. Two picks on the day. Um, you know, bravo to the defense for that. But outside of that, uh, a nice, strong day for the quarterback and his receivers, even the tight ends as well. So um, from what I saw, um, guys were getting good separation. Um, guys were um, running great routes, crisp routes, and they looked pretty good. And then the balls were on time. Um, Daniel Jones was making the throws uh, with the anticipation on time and getting the ball out pretty quickly still. And you love to see that because, like I said, yesterday uh, versus today was night and day. So um, I'm happy to hear that. Happy for the bounce back day for Daniel Jones. Um, one of those receivers that had a good day today was Richie James. And to me, Richie James has made the 53. I made a video uh, about a month and a half ago, you know, the series who makes the 53 for the wide receivers. And I had Richie James just missing out. Uh, and this is fresh out OTAs. Actually, might have been during OTAs in minicamp when I did this prediction. Um, and I was wrong. And I'll, I'll own that. Richie James is making the 53. This guy is looking very, very good. And if he is as advertised, hopefully he has a strong preseason. This wide receiver room is going to be one of the strengths, um, you know, to this offense. And we need it to be that way. Um, so, again, Richie James, nice day today. There was one play um, where he beat Adore Jackson pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Um, Daniel Jones made the throw, ended up being a touchdown. And, um, yeah. Um, um, I'm happy about it. Tony is being Tony. Um, had a um, had a nice acrobatic, what would have been a catch, but ended up dropping it. Would have been a crazy catch if he would have brought it down. But again, a, a nice strong day for the receivers. Even Galladay got a piece. Wanda Robinson. We know these these guys are doing work, so I'm so happy about that. Now um, moving back to the offensive line. Um, offensive line had a good day in the um, in the team activities. On, uh, in one-on-ones, uh, kind of a rough day again. Uh, Evan Neal is continuing to struggle a little, a little bit, but like I said, and this is against the speed rush, something that we knew was a weakness of his coming out of college. Um, we knew it, we see it now, and hopefully um, Bobby Johnson, Coach Bobby Johnson can get this corrected. And again, this is practice. Um, once we get into the preseason and we see him against those live um, defenses, um, you know, then we can start to judge him a little bit more. But what do you expect uh, one of the top pass rushers, you know, coming out of college to do? Hopefully he can win those battles. And we see that Kayvon Thibodeau was doing that early. Um, not against Andrew Thomas, but um, Evan Neal is having a little bit of a struggle right now. But again, but again I think he'll be fine. Um, outside of that, um, they had Eli Manning in practice. Um, of course, whenever Eli is in the building, he actually works in the building. But whenever he's out there on the field showing the support, um, it's, a, it's a great thing. So you love to see Eli Manning. Again, um, just overall, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of good things about practice today. Uh, I would just want to send a shout out to all the content creators that were in the building at the practices, um, posting videos, sharing their content, doing things like that. You know who you are. Um, I can't name all you guys because I don't want to be responsible for missing anybody. But again, I want to thank the content creators for putting up that information along with the beat writers and also Giants.com for all the information they get to share with the people that can't be, you know, in the facility or at the practices and enjoying that good time that uh, that you guys are doing. But um, again, this is just a quick, quick recap of day six. The offense had had a good day. Defense had an okay day. Um, and yeah, 
everybody looks good right now and um no complaints for uh for me i believe we were injury free today oh again before i uh, jump off uh timon fox it was a sighting of timon fox today i'm hearing that he would have had two would-be sacks too so i'm um, happy to see that from the udfa at a unc um and again man I, I i like i like to hear the information um i like to um read all the information that they're putting out especially about these uh, lower depth chart guys because i want to see these guys build and get their chances to shine uh, we kind of have an idea of who the starters are going to be but a lot of these guys that are going to be filling in the depth chart um, we want to see these names and see um, what they do in practice come to light and so again i want to thank you guys for vibing with me please like comment and subscribe this is big dash nose big blue nation let's go